Hello, my friends. Here, this is the uh, flush uh, drain system for these towers, this section of towers. And when I fired this section up, when I got it running with the water intake, uh, there were some problems. Uh, the weight tank right here, uh, that uh, drain tube was plugged, so that wasn't functioning. And when I did have it run its first cycle, there was a lot of debris in the bottom of the tank, and it wouldn't allow the flapper valve to close so that it would uh, continuously drain and not fill back up. So once I cleaned that out, I used the shop vac and uh, siphoned all the debris out of the tank. So now it's cycling like it wasn't ever interrupted. So that's going good now. And I started putting all the uh, growth towers back. I'm saying I, but it's me and my apprentice. Uh, she's doing all this work. So she put all these up. So this section here is working perfectly. It's, uh, we're letting everything cycle. We're not planting right away. We still need to get our fish in the system, <clears throat> but we need to get everything running and cycling. Okay. Uh, if you look in the sump tank here, you can see that the water level is pretty low, and the reason it is low is when I turn the uh, fill valves on for the flood and drain system, that's taking hundreds of gallons of water, and so that needs to be replaced, and right now my float fill valve is running at its full uh, throttle. It's all the way open, but it doesn't fill as fast as it's being pumped out. But give it a day to, to complete the cycle, and that water level should be up. If it gets questionable where it's getting down below the pumps right here, I'll just take my garden hose and top it up with that. But I'm I think it's down at its lowest right now, and uh, it's in its, the method of uh, replacing, replenishing the water that's being lost or pumped out. So once that's up there, it'll hit its uh, operating uh, cycle, the operating levels, and it should be good to go from there on out. Okay, the, this section of grow beds, flood and drain, uh, we repaired the one bunk that was broken and we have water coming in and what we're finding out is the drain tubes that connect the four half barrels together. Most of those have debris in them and it's not allowing the water to transfer quick enough between all the, uh, the four sections, the four half barrels. So I'm popping the drains off, cleaning those lines out and it looks to me like we've got them functioning. And uh, I gotta check every one, make sure that uh, it's cycling good. We're still pulling plants out. And a few of these we're gonna uh, change. Uh, we're gonna keep some that are not gonna be flood drain. We're gonna empty them. We're gonna use a few to grow uh, duckweed. And so, uh, we want to see how many we should have so that uh, we can be feeding the fish duckweed. There's a lot of debris we need to clean up. We want to get all the trash, uh, all the dead matter picked up, but uh, that'll be a final cleanup. Dead matter laying on the ground is a breeding ground for fungus gnats. So we want to take away all their food. When these beds aren't cycling where they're flooding and getting stuck, they start leaking and they'll leak here at the back of the tank uh, where this low spot is. And a lot of times it's covered with the gravel and you can't see uh, that it is leaking, that it's at, at that height. So what I'm doing is leaving these back areas open so that you can monitor the depth of the uh, bed when it's flooding. And if it gets into that area where there's water, it's not doing its cycle. And what I'm finding is there's debris, dried roots in the drain lines. 
Some of them have even been completely plugged. So I'm cleaning all those out and getting these to cycle. And I'll monitor these for a few days uh, before we start doing anything with the planting. So considering Dawn is leaving, mint grow on the floor in this area underneath the towers. Uh, we do have a market for mint. So this is volunteer. It's growing in our gravel, but it's also we, we get enough leakage in this area that uh, I'm sure it'll keep the mint healthy. I mean, it grew here without any attendance, any water for a full year. So it'll just do better as we get things planted. What I'm looking at here is a mason bee that's flying. Might be hard to see him. And that's a real good sign. That's a positive indicator for the rebuild here. And here you can see I have a couple mason bee hives. And what I do with these hives is I hang them out in the trees in the summer, then bring them in the greenhouse in the fall. Well, thanks for watching this update, my friends. Bye-bye.